Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturer in computing at the National College of Ireland and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a polar diagram using Microsoft Excel. In this video we will first of all see what a polar diagram is, then we'll take a look at how polar diagrams are used in performance measurement, and in the first of our two examples we're going to create a simple polar diagram to measure performance of an organization, and finally we're going to finish up with using a polar diagram to compare performance between more than one organization. First of all, what is a polar diagram? Well, we use polar diagrams to graphically show the size of gaps among 5 to 10 organizational performance areas. This helps us make concentrations of strengths and weaknesses very visible, and it also will clearly display the important categories of performance that we should be looking at when we're doing performance measurement. And if we do a good job on this, um, our diagram will show um, a clearly defined full, uh, clearly defines full performance in each of the categories that we use. So let's take a look at a simple example here. The blue shaded area represents our performance measurement in five key areas. Quality, cost, speed, flexibility and dependability. Our scale here is from 0 to 100%. These five measures are frequently used in performance measurement to measure performance over a range of areas and if you read the literature you will see these five areas are referred to quite a bit. But we don't have to use these five areas. We could, for example, use uh, money, uh, amounts of money, uh, numbers of defects, uh, numbers of units produced and many and many other measures of performance. In our case here we're going for percentage. And we can see in our chart here at a glance um, that uh, as far as dependability, quality and cost is concerned, our organization is performing quite well, uh, just under the 100% capacity. However, in flexibility and particularly with speed, we can see at a glance uh, that performance is not uh, falling way behind, it's falling way behind uh, what might be um, as far as flexibility and speed are concerned. We can see that it is a lot lower than we would like it to be. In our second example here, we're not using a shading in, shaded in version, uh, we are using um, uh, line versions. So the red line here represents the data that we saw on the previous slide, and the blue line is new, and we've added in a same measures of performance for another organization, and we can now compare the blue with the red. So the red is the same as before, but when we look at the blue, we can see that for dependability, quality and cost is concerned, um, the blue organization is falling way behind the red company and is also performing very poorly, as we can see on the chart. With flexibility, it's performing actually quite well. Uh, ahead of the red organization, still falls short of 100% uh, capacity here, uh, but that's not a bad performance according to this chart. As far as speed is concerned, uh, while it's performing uh, almost the same as the red organization, the blue organization is still falling short of what we would like for speed. So at a glance, we can compare the two organizations uh, using this type of diagram. Let's move on now and create one ourselves. Here I have some data comparing three organizations, Clooney, Pitt and Pr Crow, over a five-year period, years one to five. And the numbers you see here are the percentage of on-time deliveries on a yearly basis for each company. So I'd like to draw um, polar diagrams to represent these data. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a simple polar diagram, the filled-in version, to um, compare Clooney Limited with uh, over, uh, Clooney Limited's performance um, on a single chart. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing I need to do is select my data. So I've selected in this case here cells A3 down to B8 and this gives me my labels for the years, my title for Clooney and the values underneath Clooney. So I'm going to draw a uh, polar diagram representing these data. I click on the chart wizard icon and uh, this brings up the uh, step one of four for uh, to select the appropriate chart type. The type that we need is a radar chart so scroll down and select radar and the chart subtype that we need here is the one on the right hand side which uh, shows the shaded in area and it's highlighted in black here and if I click on the press and hold the view sample button to see what my chart might look like I can get a small um, thumbnail view of my chart that looks good so I'm going to click on next and in step two of the chart wizard I've got an option here to change the data range should I need to so I'm happy enough with what I've got so I'm going to click on next again in step three, if I need to change any titles or any uh, details on the axis of my chart, I can do so, but I'm happy enough, so I'm going to click Next. 
And in the final step, I've got an option to um, add my chart as a new sheet or as an object in the current sheet. Uh, I'm going to just select it as an object in the current sheet and click Finish. When I do that, I get a diagram uh, close to what we see here. Uh, this is obviously quite small in the video, so I need to expand this. So I'm just going to select the diagram and uh, drag it to a larger size. And when I do that, we get a diagram uh, like what we have here. And on this diagram, I can see that uh, Clooney Limited, uh, represented by the blue area, is performing um, quite well, uh, increasing its performance over the years. But in year one, its performance is quite poor, but it gradually increases over the years so that when we get to year five, which is the best performance, uh, we can see that the organization has improved. Now, over the five years, that may represent uh, um, a performance that's not good enough, um, but that uh, depends on what your performance measurement criteria are going to be. Now, if we want to compare Clooney with Pitt and Crow, we need to draw a different type of chart. So let's go back to where just to have our data on our own, and these are the data that we started out with. The first thing I need to do is this time I'm going to select all the data uh, within my data range A3 down to D8. I'm going to click on the chart wizard button again uh, to select the chart type. And the one we need here is a radar chart uh, on the left-hand side, so scroll down and select that. And the chart subtype we need this time is the one on the left-hand side of the tree that you see here, uh, which uh, displays changes in values relative to a center point, and that's what we want to look at. And when I collect, click on Next, I get an option in Step 2 to change the data range, should I need to. So I um, just uh, double-check my data range, and I'm happy with that, so I'll click Next. And in step three, I've got some options to change the titles and axes again, should I need to. Uh, I'm not going to do that here, so I'll click Next again. And in the final step, I'm going to create my um, polar diagram as an object in the current sheet, so click Finish to do that. And that displays a polar diagram like what you see here. Um, now in the video, this, the lines on this are going to be barely visible. So what I'm going to do is um, format, reformat the lines, uh, make them bigger, and change the colors. Uh, so that they're visible on the video. And that's what I've done here. Uh, Right-click on the lines to do this. The options will pop up and you can choose the thickness and the colors of your own lines. You can see here now, for example, that um, Crow in year one has the best performance compared to Pitt and Clooney. In year two, uh, all three organizations have a similar performance and in year three, they're quite close as well. In year four, we can see that once again, Crow Limited has the best performance, almost maximum, whereas uh, Pitt and Clooney are quite similar. But in year five, we can see that Crow's performance falls behind the other two. So at a glance, I can compare the three organizations here for each of the five years uh, using my polar diagram. In this file and image here, I've uh, reintroduced the uh, diagram representing just Clooney on its own, so as you can see, both chart types together. And hopefully uh, you can see at a glance that we can compare the performance of one organization uh, over a five-year period as to how it's doing. And in a different type of diagram using lines only, we can compare the three organizations. So that are, that's Polar Diagrams. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.